Hello crypto gaming family, today I'm going to show you step by step how you can earn free money through Townstar competition server. If you are interested in making money through this amazing game, you don't need an initial investment. You can start earning as soon as today. For the details, make sure you check out this video. Hello crypto gaming family and welcome to our channel. My name is Yichan and on this channel we talk about the latest and greatest news in the world of crypto gaming. If you are a fan of NFTs through ownership and the potential to earn income while you play crypto games, you are in the right place. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we will be sharing time sensitive information and updates about the exciting world of crypto gaming. Today I want to show you how to be successful in the Townstar competition server. In this server you can earn Gala coin or Townstar NFTs without any initial investment. And these competitions are bi-weekly competitions. Participants, especially the ones that can go to the top tiers in the leaderboard, are rewarded generously by the Gala games. To earn, all you need to do is play on the competition server for free and qualify for the reward. To succeed in Townstar competitions, players must go through three key phases. These are research, building a sustainable town economy and increasing their points according to the competition rules. Before each competition, all towns on the competition server are wiped out, so it's important for players to start fresh and carefully plan out their strategy. By conducting thorough research and carefully managing their resources, players can set themselves up for success and work towards climbing the leaderboard. Whether you are a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to Townstar, the competition servers offer a unique and challenging experience for all players and also a passive income. If you are interested in learning more about Townstar, I happen to have a playlist about this game which is located on the top right corner. If you come back to our phases, you have already started your first phase by watching this video and highly recommend you to follow Gala Discord channel to learn about the upcoming competition rules before they start. In this Discord channel, they disclose from rewards to the goods that will earn you more points or more cash during the competition cycle and you need to build your economy based on those rules. For example, if we take a look at the Gala Discord for the ongoing competition channel, we have a massive boost on the stars of the boom cans. To be able to climb up in the leaderboard, we need to focus our economy to produce more and more boom cans and sell those out. And in additionally, we have a cash bonus on the floor and also ice cubes where we can earn more town cash and spend it on building our town faster to increase our star value in the rewards. The second phase of success in the competition server requires us to building up a sustainable economy, which means we need to be producing gasoline to be able to sell our goods to a neighboring city. To illustrate that, I'm going to jump into the game. If you're not a Gala Games member, you can use my referral link in the description below to become a free member and after you sign up and log in, all you need to do is click on this play button on the town star to be able to play this game. After this page loads, you need to be play this game on the competition server. So to be able to make sure you are on the competition server, all you need to do is choose a server and that should be the competition server. You should click on return or join if you are in a different server. And the servers from one to five are NFT based servers. And if you play on those, you won't be able to qualify for rewards. So this is important to select this competition server. And in this page, it also tells us what is the time remaining for that server to reset. And we can see that it is two days left for the competition to end in this current state. So the this announcement tells us current competition started on the 27th of December. So we have a one day of delay, so a little bit of disadvantage here, but we still should be able to pick up one of the low rarity NFTs by playing this game efficiently and the competition will end on 31st of December. So we still have two more days to be able to make at least 50,000 stars to be able to qualify for the reward. And the other important thing here is the boom cans that we are going to focus on in order to get lots of stars in a short amount of time. So we should be able to consider what are the requirements for 
crafting a boom can really quickly. I attach this document in the descriptions as well, where you can look it up the crafting materials on Townstar and requirements for those. And we are going to click on boom cans here. And we can see that to be able to produce boom can, we need mystic matter, which requires limestone production. Limestone is only built on the mining towns, which requires you to have a town next to a mountain. So when we click return and play now button, it brings us to this page where we select our town's location. And we should be careful with picking up a spot where we have a neighboring mountain and also proximity to a major city where we will be selling our goods in exchange of the goods plus the gasoline. If you put your town further away from a major city, you need more gasoline to sell your goods. So it's going to be quite disadvantageous especially in the beginning of the game. With this information in mind, I'm going to select this spot and name my town and click OK. Which will immediately build my town and bring me into the game. When we first start the game, our initial goal is to make as much as money as we can so we can skip to the second phase where we can build a gasoline production. So to be able to do that, since we have a boost on the floor production, I'm gonna place multiple windmills around my town. So windmills you will use wheat and wood as a resources and produce me the floor. Let's start by placing our first windmill over here. So windmills need to be neighbored by a road. So make sure you build your road and then you can build your windmill. So our builder will start carrying woods to this building site construction location and after five boots have been carried on here we can start building our windmill so one thing to consider about the windmills is the wind is blocked by the neighboring buildings and also by the mountain so just to illustrate i'm gonna build another windmill here And to be able to produce wheat, we need to have three water in the tile, either automatic water, which is provided by the ponds or the marsh, or we could ask our farmers to carry water to these plants, which is going to make it very inefficient. So just to make sure they are automatically watered, I'm going to use this pond location, clean it up a little bit, and place my wheat farms around this area. So when we click on a spot, we see how many automatic watering it takes, and if it's more than three, our weeds should grow automatically there. Another one. Another one. So this one won't automatically get water because it has only two water. This should provide us sufficient wheat production. Now we can focus on building more and more windmills. And one thing to remember is the windmills block each other's wind. So you may want to place them a little bit further apart from one another. So I try to put them three tiles away from one another. Our first windmill has been produced. We are going to click on craft and change it to the floor production to be able to the worker to start making up floors.
And we could also set up an automatic cell by clicking on the settings, auto cell, customize and floor. And we are saying keep zero. So whenever we have 10 or more floors, this will automatically sell off those extra floors that we have in our storage. I'm going to speed up this part. It's a slow game. So after I build up all of these windmills and have some enough cash to move on to the second phase, I will see you guys. Okay, we have saved some cash. We have around 600 town cash in our bank. And we are pretty much ready to start the second phase, which is building our sustainable economy by working on a gasoline production. So if you are playing this game, in a map, there is no natural water resources like I am. We need to build two ponds to next to one another where we can build up our gasoline production plants. So the reason why I built this in this corner, it's because I want to keep these away from my crops and my other production buildings because they will basically release the environmental dirt so it's going to it's going to reduce the production times of the crops and the buildings so that's why i picked this corner and i built two ponds to be able to build a pond all you need to do is go to the terrain section and click a pond and then your builders will be able to carry water resources and fill this pond with water and create your pond so let's cancel this we don't need it that is the reason why i have this well over here to be able to build gasoline we need refineries they are located in the industrial section we need two of these refineries and we also need to build a water pump before we get there so we are gonna build two water pumps next to our water resources and i leave this corner empty for a reason which i'm gonna show you why and the water pumps require regular wood and oak wood so we need oak wood production to be able to do that I'm going to remove this and from the farm section build the oak tree farm so my lumberjacks will automatically be able to pick this oak trees from here but because they are far away they will prioritize the closer trees first so i may need to get rid of some of the trees over here to make them a space and also if you don't have any space on your woodshed they won't be able to carry it out to here so be careful with that and i don't need this anymore so i can clean it up Let's remove this one as well our two refineries are going to be located one will be here the other will be here and i'm gonna put a power plant in the middle to be able to build the power plant i need to upgrade this and to upgrade we are basically going to use the regular wood and the industrial wood so we need to build the production center which is this lumber mill which is going to convert regular wood into lumbers and let's place our refineries refinery one refinery two this place is empty for the power plant and refineries require for you to use energy so we need to have an energy production and energy is going to be stored in the 
warehouse so let me build that warehouse where they can where my workers can put that into it and let's remove all of this fuel storage tank over here just to bring this fuel storage closer to this corner i didn't remove this yet because we still have some gasoline left there and we will basically consume all of those while our workers build on this okay we have our warehouse now we have a place to store our energy the energy is produced by the windmills the the electric turbines sorry so we need to build a couple of those and they are also again affected by the wind cuts coming from the mountain and the windmills so try to put them further apart let's go here energy is collected by the industrial workers so we need a industrial worker house and we are gonna place a power plant here which is a bit expensive building compared to the wind turbines but it definitely pays it off because it's one gives passive energy to the surroundings two it also generates energy by consuming the extra fuel the last thing we need is we actually need the oil pumps which i was almost about to forget so let's build another road here at this stage even without the power plant we should be able to use this energies coming from the wind turbine to convert the oil into a gasoline but just to increase the efficiency we are gonna build an additional power plant here so it's gonna increase the speed of the gasoline production and also provide us additional energy and we can switch to the third phase we can start producing the boom cans where the most of the stars we will be start earning so if we can sell out 20 candy booms we should be automatically get qualified for the nft and even with this 2300 ish stars my current rank is around 2000 so they are gonna give away nfts for the first 4500 people we should be able to easily get into the 4500 level and get qualified for the nft all right we are ready to turn back our gasoline production as you can see i have no gasoline at the moment so i won't be able to sell anything if i don't start producing gasoline at this point so we are gonna put our two refineries into use one of them will produce gasoline and the other one will produce petroleum second one is still getting made so i'm gonna start making petroleum in with this one and our water pumps have been built so we no longer need oak tree so i'm just gonna remove this and thanks to our lumber mill and our production with the wind turbines we are also ready to build our refinery now sorry build our power plant now so i'm gonna place this in the middle so it can give the passive energy to this refineries and also this lumber mill from this location i'm also gonna add more oil pumps at this stage because i really need oil quite a bit three more oil pumps so they can get built by my builders and this is almost ready as well so as you can see this refinery at the moment is using energy which is stored in our warehouse from this windmills and to oil and change it into a petroleum and one petroleum you can change it into gasoline that's what our second refinery will do when we finish completing it And I'm gonna turn lumber mill production on as well because we need lots of lumber mill to be able to construct our power plant. But at this point, I can tell you guys that our economy is sustainable because we have gasoline production. 
almost have guns all in production if i go along like this at the moment i need to switch this to gasoline at some point to be able to produce the pe convert petroleum into gasoline so you could actually go by just having one refinery but then you need to switch back and forth which is not that ideal for the economy to run without you doing much so i'm building the second refinery because of that so now we are in the start prepping for the third phase which is the producing boom cans so boom cans production is a little bit more complicated than the things we have done so far we need mystic matter which we are going to produce from glue cotton yarn and limestone all right friends it took me half a day but i finally completed my boom crane pipeline so just to cut this video shorter i'm just gonna show you my pipeline as you can see i have 10 boom cranes let's sell those 10 and let's see how much stars and how much cash that brings to us at the moment i have almost 600 thousand star points which puts me into the spot of 1400 and that also leads me to be qualified for the rewards because if you remember this discord article for you to qualify for reward you need to have more than 50,000 points which we do and you need to be in the top 4500 which we are we are actually at 1500 something and from this structure we should be able to get rare or epic or legendary if we even push our rank further which i think we will because we just started making the boom cans so we should be able to keep up with many people in the higher ranks and earn a legendary or epic nft easily gala also does this competitions with the gala reward some bi-weekly competitions earn you gala tokens and you can see that you can earn up to 5500 gala in those competitions or let's say you can be competitive and like get into the top 10 2500 gala if you look at the price how much we earn if you become a first player in the competition server you get a 90 dollar reward or let's say top 10 earns a 40 dollar reward just by playing this game for free and playing in the competition server successfully climbing the ladder boards so this game really rewards you if you are competitive in this challenge and with the new update they actually planning to do more of these type of challenges and more competitions with different rule sets things like that so i'm quite excited about this town star where it will move forward with respect to its new godot update if you don't know about it i happen to have a video i definitely recommend you to watch that i hope you like this town star competition server video and how you can strategize to earn free rewards for yourself and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel i will see you in the crypto gaming world friends